semester, like the next semester. Uh-huh. Uh, and algebra, you have matrices, then uh, group theory, group theory, ring theory, ring theory, vector spaces, field theory. Right? All these are undergraduate uh, mathematics. Undergraduate mathematics. Undergraduate maths. <coughs> uh, today, what do you want to do? Matrices. Hmm? Yes, sir. Right from matrices. the basics, sir. Yeah, matrices. Uh, from uh, basic knowledge, uh, we can start. Right. Matrices is a very easy subject. Not like uh, real analysis. Real analysis is somewhat difficult uh, most of the students uh, because if we, uh, if we use the um, definition of limits, using definition of limits, normally for undergraduate mathematics, uh, for limit sums, uh, normally you do uh, starting from the definition, using the definition. Hmm? Definition. When you do definition, uh, using the definition, uh, somewhat difficult, not like uh, uh, the general method, right? Ordinary yes, method. Sir. Right, okay. That, uh, those things we did that day, no? Hmm? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Right. Now, uh, today let's start uh, algebra matrices. Hmm? Matrices. Come on. Mm. Matrix. What is a matrix? Hmm? What do you mean by a matrix? Matrix is a rectangular arrangement of numbers. Very simple. Hmm? Matrix is rectangular arrangement of numbers. Matrix. Hmm? Rectangular arrangement of simple definition, right? Uh, so using uh, matrix is a rectangular arrangement of numbers using a pair of brackets, right? Examples. If you take examples, so this is a matrix. This is a rectangle. One minus one zero two. So you have four numbers arranged in in a rectangular in a rectangular uh, array. Hmm? Rectangular in a rectangular array. Okay. Uh, if you take this one, one zero minus one three four two, right? So this is a matrix, uh, if you take like this, this one, minus 1, 0, 2, 3, 1, 2, minus 1, 0, 9, right? This has uh, two rows and two columns, this matrix. This has uh, two three rows and two columns. Now these are, uh, these are columns, huh? Yes. These are columns. These are columns. There are two columns. How many yes, rows? Col three rows. Three. Right? Right. Two, 
columns, three rows, right? Two columns and three rows. If you take this matrix, this matrix has three rows and three columns, right? The horizontal yes, uh, lines like this, horizontal arrays are rows, vertical arrays are columns, right? Very simple. So this one, this has two columns and two rows. This has three columns and three rows, right? Okay. Yes, sir. <coughs> so it is simple. So you can form different uh, matrices like this, hmm? different matrices. And there are some, uh, notations also, right? You should understand notation. When you use notation, somewhat difficult. Without using notation also, you can understand matrix lesson very easily, right? Uh, I will tell you uh, somehow, very easy manner, in a simple way you can uh, understand. Hmm? Okay? <coughs> what is an order of a matrix? Order of matrix. What is an odd order of a matrix? Order of matrix means, let's say, if you take this matrix, this one, uh, 2, minus 1, 3, 0, 1, 2. Now, if you take this matrix, how many columns are there? Uh, sir, there is only three columns. Three columns and two rows. Yes. Right? What is order? Order means you can travel downwards like this. How many elements you uh, pass through uh, when you go down? like this, two, two, two elements, right? You can also known as these uh, numbers as elements of the matrix, right? What do you mean by that? Elements of the matrix. These numbers also known as elements of the matrix. Okay? Now, uh, so you go down two elements. If you go this direction, how many elements you pass through? Three elements. In other words, other words you come across two rows. When you go horizontally like this, you come up come across three columns. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, order of this matrix is two, you go down two elements, two by three matrix, two by three matrix or two cross three matrix. You don't, you don't simplify this as six. This is a notation. Eh? This indicates yes, the order of the matrix 2 cross 3 matrix. Is it clear? You yes, have sir. to keep in mind like that. Hmm? Yes, but we don't have to give the answer like th 6. You don't take as 6. You just yes, use sir. like this 2 cross 3. three. Okay, sir. Right. Then uh, what is the order of this matrix? Can you tell me what is the order of this, this matrix? 1, 2, minus 1. What is the order of this matrix? Is this, is, is this a matrix? I think no, sir. Yes, this is a matrix. This is a matrix. Yes, but this, I can this see is known as column, column matrix. Hmm? 
Yes. Column matrix. One column. Column matrix. Because it in, okay. it includes only one column. If the matrix yes. includes one column, it is known as yes. column matrix, right? Or column yes. vector, sometimes called column vector also, eh? Column vector. Um, right? What vector means? Column vector, column matrix. The, in this, this is a matrix lesson, or therefore we, we call this as column matrix, eh? Column matrix. Right. So. This is uh, three, one. Four. What is the order of this matrix? Can you tell me? Three rows. Three no. rows. Sir. You go da down three elements in this direction. In this direction, one element. This is three, three by X. one matrix. What? Three by one matrix or three matrix. cross one matrix. Okay? Yes. Right. Now, uh, you keep in mind, uh, don't, don't it leave to uh, return in mind later, right? Yes. Straight away you keep in mind, eh? Yes. Right. Now, I will take uh, another matrix. Uh, minus 1, 4, 0, 2, 1, 1. Uh, 0, 1, 2. How many elements are there in this matrix? Number of elements? So, uh, three columns, three rows. Now, I am asking uh, number of elements. How many elements are there in this matrix? Elements. So, three elements. Number of elements. Number of elements like this. Yes. How, how many elements? Uh, we have to count all the numbers, that is elements. Yes. Number of elements. How many? Nine how, elements, many so. how many elements are there? Nine. Nine elements. Yes. This has nine elements. Three into three. This side three. This one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine elements. Hmm? Nine yes. elements. What is the order of this matrix? Uh, on the, uh, hmm? Three columns, three rows. Three by three matrix. Three, that's three, yes. Three by three matrix. Right? These are very important. Very, very important. Sir, right? hmm? sir but, but up you wrote only two elements and three uh, elements. Two elements? This has uh, six elements, right? Three columns and two rows, right? This uh, there is a gap between two elements. From that you can identify the you can uh, these elements are separated uh, by space here. You have to keep space between elements, eh? certain space, right? From spaces yes. you can, uh, from spaces separated uh, elements. Eh? There are six yes. elements. Okay. Now if yes, you take the, this one, zero, one, two, four, minus one, five, zero, seven. So this is also three by three matrix. Three by three matrix. Right? Right. Yes, sir. And how many elements? So you can use capital letters to denote matrices. Let's say A equals 1, 2, minus 1, 3. B equals minus 1, 0, 2, 1. Like that. So you can use capital letters. C equals. 2 minus 1 like that. So this one 2 by 2 matrix. This also 2 by 2 matrix. This one 2 2 by 1 matrix. Okay? Yes sir. Uh, 
so what is a square matrix square matrix what is a square matrix square matrix is if number of rows equal number of columns then the matrix said to be square matrix very simple mm? so you can examples extreme if number of rows is uh, equal to number of columns then the matrix said to be a square matrix okay yes right now if you take uh, matrix like this mm 1 2 minus 1 k so this is square matrix b if you take 1 2 3 4 minus 1 0 1 2 1 so this also is square matrix because in this number of columns equal number of rows for so this one also number of rows equals number of columns right yes so this 2 by 2 matrix this 3 by 3 matrix like that right see you can write like that 1 minus 1 0 1 2 1 0 2 3 4 0 minus 1 minus 1 0 2 3 like that so this also is square matrix this 4 by 4 matrix like this right these are examples for square matrix right null matrix null matrix null matrices so what are the null matrices null matrices all elements are zero these are null ma null matrices okay these are null matrices these are null each elements all the elements are equal to zero right This is a null matrix of order two by two. This is a null matrix of order three by one. So this is a null matrix of order two by three. Okay. Is it clear? Yes. Uh, you can't interchange. Uh, you, instead of this one, you can't write one 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 by three. Eh? This is three by one. Eh? You can't uh, interchange yep. these two. Eh? Uh, why two by two is null matrix? Two by three by one. No, oh, no, sir. Two into two is null matrix. Why? This is a null matrix. This is also a null matrix. This is also a null matrix because all the elements are zero, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Yes. Null null matrices. So you can write all the null. Normally, you can use uh, underline. Zero to denote a null matrix, right? Underline yes. zero, like this. Zero, 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 zero. O letter O. Hmm. Letter O, sorry, letter O. Letter O. Hmm. Zero matrix. O zero. sometimes we use zero also right yes right then uh, matrices uh, if you if you take any matrix uh, now you know what do you mean by square matrix or uh, null matrix 
and secondly uh, unit matrix unit matrix what do you mean by unit matrix unit matrix or oh, identity matrix unit matrix or identity matrix what do you mean by that so uh, this for in a square matrix in a square matrix this is very important unit matrix is defined only for a square matrix no not other matrices right unit matrix yes. def defined only for square matrices that means this one all the diagonal elements one other elements are zero this is known as i i2 hmm? i3 equals 111000000000 like this right so if you take i4 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 like this this i four. Oh, this is known as main diagonal right eh? all main diagonal elements are not 1 right other yes. elements are 0 then matrix is said to be unit matrix or identity matrix okay yes right this is just definition you keep in mind unit matrices are defined only for square matrices for other matrices you don't this type of matrices you don't uh, define is unit matrix unit matrix matrices always defined for square matrices what do you mean by square matrix little while ago we did that we discussed the square matrix is if number of columns equals number of rows then the matrix is a square matrix yes. right for example yes. 2 by 2 matrix 3 by 3 matrix, 4 by 4 matrix are the square yes. matrices. Yes. It is just like a square. The rectangular arrangement becomes a square arrangement. Yes. Right? Yes. Then, uh, then the matrix is said to be a square matrix. Okay? Very simple. Now, unit matrices, unit matrices are defined only for square matrices. So this is known as I2. I2 means uh, this is uh, all the 2 by 2 matrix. This uh, in diagonal, this is known as main diagonal. All main diagonal elements are equal to 1, other elements are equal to 0. So this is the identity matrix or unit matrix of order 2. Yes, sir. Right? Order 2. So this is the uh, unit matrix of order T. You can name as I3. I3. Right? Now, yes. three diagonal elements are 1. Other ele all other elements are 0. This is the identity matrix of order 4. Right? One diagonal elements are equal to 1. Other elements are 0. Right? This is just definition, nothing to understand, eh? Yes. Okay. But this is very simple, simple. eh? Yes. Simple. Yeah. Likewise, you can find I5 also you can write down. Hmm? That is uh, uh, 5 by 
phi matrix or a seven by seven any any size matrix you can form hmm? yes. identity yes. matrix right addition of matrices addition so, uh, can be performed if two matrices are of same order right otherwise yes. you cannot add two matrices right yes. uh, for example uh, if you if you have two matrices like this let's say 1 2 -1 plus minus 1 0 2 so these two matrices this addition can be performed hmm? how do you add just add in corresponding elements how do you add these two matrices just adding corresponding elements that is corresponding yes. elements 1 plus minus 1 0 2 plus yes. 0 is 2 minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1 like that yes. okay this addition of matrix very simple eh? then second yes. example uh, if you take uh, 2 minus 1 3 4 plus 0 1 3 1 very simple this also 2 by 2 matrix this also 2 by 2 matrix therefore addition can be performed right then this yes. 2 plus 0 is 2 minus 1 plus 1 is 0 3 plus 3 is 6 4 plus 1 is 5 like that okay is it clear yes right Two minus one zero three one two minus one zero three one can you add these two matrices? Yes, sir. Can't, like, can't, uh, can't, can't. Yes, yes, yes because there is there is improper. Cannot uh, perform. Square. Because they are of different orders. They are in different orders. Right? Yes. This one is 2 by 2 matrix. This one 3 by 2 mm. matrix. This one 3 by 2 matrix. This one 2 by 2 matrix. Yes. So how do you perform that? Hmm? Can't. Right? Yes. Therefore only uh, two matrices are of same order only. You can perform the uh, then uh, addition can be obtained, eh? right? Yes. Uh, multiplication matrix multiplication by a number. How do you multiply? Multiplication of a matrix, multiplication of a matrix, of a matrix, multiplication of a matrix by a number, right? Now that is also very simple. Let's say you want to multiply by this number 1, 2, minus 1, 3, 4, 0. How do you multiply? So each, now you have to multiply each of the elements by this number. 2 into 1, 2. 2 into 2, 4. 2 into minus 1, minus 2. 2 into 3, 6. 2 into 1, 2. 2 into 0, 0. Like that. Very simple. Yes, sir. How about divisions? Yeah. 
that is how you multiply multiplication of a matrix by a number or by a scale hmm? right yeah minus 3 yeah here minus 3 how do you simplify this one first you have to multiply this one 2 4 you multiply by this number 2 2 into minus 1 minus 2 2 into 3 6 minus uh you multiply by plus 3 not minus 3 eh? because my you are leaving minus here if you don't leave minus minus here you have to multiply by uh, plus uh, minus 3 if you put plus sign here you have to multiply each of these numbers by minus 3 if you leave okay. minus sign here you have to multiply by plus 3 then minus 3 0 3 6 6 okay yes, now you have subtract 2 minus minus 3 what is 2 minus minus 3 uh 2 minus minus 3 Okay. One, sir. Plus one. Two minus minus three is five. Ah. There are two minus signs. Minus minus three is plus three. Plus three. Yes, yes, yes. Then uh, four minus zero. Four. Four. Minus two minus three. Very good one. Minus five. Oh yeah, that is minus in between. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Six minus six, zero. Six zero. Okay. So you can simplify like this. Hmm? Yes. Then use of notations. use of notations uh how do you use notations so uh matrix if you take a matrix this matrix is let's say 2 by 2 by 3 matrix a is 2 by 3 matrix eh yes right how do you right now you can write uh, like this a that means uh, how many columns and how many if, if it is 2 by 3 matrix now how many columns and how many rows can you tell me so it will be if the order is, oh, this is the order yeah. if the order is 2 uh, by 3 how many columns and how many rows Into two rows and three columns. Very good. Two rows. A one one. A one two. A one three. A two one. A two two. A two three. Like that, you can write all the elements. There are six elements. Elements. You can write so what like is this hmm? like a a eleven twelve thirteen a twenty one twenty two twenty three one one a one one a one two a one three a two one a two two and a two three like that okay so. hmm. very simple you can use any notation any 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 symbol hmm. Hmm. now let's say b B B is uh, let's say uh, two three by three matrix. How do you write B? B is elements three by three matrix. So you can write B one one, B one two, B one three, B two one. B two two, 
b3 b2 tree b3 1 b3 2 b3 tree like that okay so generally you can write b i j b i j b i j this is the i indicates i indicates the uh, row number this row number this is column number j column number is it clear yes sir a i j you can't say that you can't write other way you can't uh, b11 b12 b13 like that you can't use any other method right yes, sir. you have to follow this method always uh, suppose the uh, this elements now this uh, where is it, where is it, this this element is in uh, in the second uh, third row third row and uh, second second column. second column yes sir second column right second yes. column third row second column is denoted by b k2 first number row number second number column number is it clear yes yes so that is a notation hmm? right yes. you can't use different notations hmm? Suppose if you take uh, if a equals a one one, a one two, a one three, a two one, a two two, a two three, a three one, a three two, a three three, and b equals. B one one, B one two, B one three, B two one, B two two, B two three, B three three one, B three two, B three three. Then what is A plus B? A plus B. A plus B is. A one one plus B one one, A one one A one two plus B one two, A one three plus B one three, like that. So you can add corresponding elements. Adding corresponding elements, you get A plus B, right? So simply you can say if if A is equals A I J. Three by three, B equals B I J. Three by three, then A plus B equals A I J plus B I J. This also three by three matrix, right? Like that. multiplication of matrices uh, multiplication can be performed if two matrices uh, are compatible for multiplication how do you identify two matrices are uh, suitable for multiplication the whole matrix uh, you cannot multiply any two matrices if you are given two matrices right let's say you have a matrix a order uh, a is of order 
n cross p okay yes, n cross p b is of order b is in order p cross m right a is, is a is n cross p b is p cross m if these two numbers are equal then you can multiply otherwise you cannot multiply you cannot multiply right that means uh, then a, a b can be performed a b a b a b axis a b axis right that means uh, multiply a a <coughs> a b is obtainable right eh? uh, you know if you take two matrices uh now for example uh before i let you example if a equals 1 2 minus 1 3 4 0 b equals 1 what is the order of this one what is the order of this matrix 2 by 3 2 by 3 what is the order of this matrix 3 by 2 3 by 2 now these two are equal no yes three is equal right they are uh, for these two matrices ab is obtainable hmm? ab is available the three is column this three is row yeah Three columns uh, here. Number of uh, columns in the first matrix is equal to number of rows in the second matrix. Yes, sir. Then you can multiply, right? Then A B means one two minus one three four zero into minus one zero one two three zero, right there. Now, this what is the result and me? Order of the resultant matrix. What is the order of the resultant matrix? Resultant matrix is order of resultant matrix is this remaining two numbers. If you cancel these two and got uh, if you remove three three, then you get two by two matrix. The resultant matrix is two by two matrix. Uh, do we cut three and three? Not, no. You don't get uh, three by three matrix. You get two by two matrix, right? And to make it equal, sir. Ah. Huh? Uh, why should I cut, sir? Yeah. Three and three. Yeah, three. Uh, you just c- cut off these three. Three okay, and three. Sir. Then uh, remain is two by two, no? Two and two. Yes. that result in matrix is 2 by 2 matrix right so how do you yes, get sir. the number of this right <laughs> this one so this row multiply with this column right how yes, do you multiply a row by a column how do you multiply If you take this row, now uh, if you draw lines, this there are two rows. Here there are two columns like this. Two columns intersect. Now, now there are all together four lines. These four lines intersect. Only at four points. You see, four points. Yes, sir. Okay. 
Yes. This this point, the number for this intersections get this intersections uh, gets from this row and this column. Then you multiply this row and this column to get the number here. Yes. Is it clear? Yes, sir. How do you multiply a row by a column? Now you see this 1, 2, minus 1. How do you multiply minus 1, 1, 3? Right? So you multiply this one with this. What is that? 1 into minus 1, minus 1. 2 into 2 into 1 plus 2. Minus 1 into 3, minus 3. Is it clear? Then if you add these three numbers, minus 2. Minus two. Then here now should be minus two. Is it clear? Yes. yes. Then uh, this line intersect at this point. Yes. That means this row and this column intersect at this point, right? Yes. So value at this point should be value at this point is obtained by multiplying this row and this column. Is it clear? Yes, sir. If you multiply this row with this column, 1 into 0, 1, 2 into 2 is 4, minus 1 into 0, 0, then 4. Yes. Is it clear? Yes. Then uh, this intersection, this intersection is this point. Is it clear? Yes. This intersection of this line and this uh, this line, that is this row and this column. So you have to multiply this row by this column. So 3 into minus 1, minus 3, 4 into 1, 4, 4 minus 3 is 1, then 0 into 3 is 0, is 1. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Then you multiply 3 into 0, 0, 4 into 2 is 8, 0 into 0 is 0, this one is 8. Okay. Yes, sir. Very simple manner you can multiply like this. Right? Let's see another example. Example 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, minus 1. Can you multiply these two? two matrices. It is possible to multiply? Yes. Yes? Yes. No. Can't multiply. You just take what uh, is this order? This two by two. Yes, this sir. one and three this by this three two. by two. But these two are not equal, no? Yes sir. Right? These two are not equal. So multiplication cannot be performed. Multiplication. Cannot be performed. Yes. Right? Yes. Multiplication cannot be performed for these two because uh, this is not in this form. N cross P into N cross P and P cross M in this form it should be. 
that is this two is not equal this three right so therefore multiple this not possible right not possible yes, multiplication is not possible If we multiply this row with this column, two minus three minus one. Oh. Mm -hmm. If we multiply this column by this row with this column, four minus one three. If you multiply this row with this column. Mm, Zero into one zero, three into three nine nine. If you multiply this row with this column, zero plus three three. Like this. So you you want to repeat it? Yes, sir. Mm. So Can you show with the arrow mark. <coughs> yeah. Now uh, you see, this is uh, how many. This always you see the plus uh, from the plus matrix. You you always see the rows, not columns. Yes. Sir. From this matrix, you have to see the rows, not columns. Yes. From the from the second matrix, you always select columns, not yes. rows. That means you take. This plus row, plus row intersects with two columns in this. Oh, yes. This these elements get you, if you multiply this column, this row with this column. If you multiply this row and this column together, then you get yes. minus one. Two into yes. one is two plus. Minus one into three minus three. Two plus minus three is minus one. Is it clear? Yes. yes sir. Now, if you if you want this this element, how do you get? That is, you multiply this row and this column. That is four into two into two four. Minus one into minus one minus one into plus one is minus one. Four minus one is three. Is it clear? Yes, sir. This number. Then, if you want that, this element, how do you get? That is intersection of this row and this column. You just multiply this row and this column. That is zero into one zero. Three into three nine. Zero plus nine is nine. Then you multiply this row with this column. Zero into two, zero. Three into one is three. Zero plus three is three. Okay. Yes. Yes. Can you do these examples? Yes. Sir. Yeah, so, so this one uh, one by three matrix, this one three by one matrix. Therefore, resultant matrix or order of resultant matrix should be one by one matrix. That means only single element you should get here. What is that single element? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, nine. Good. Very good. Nine. Likewise, you uh, uh, can you try other three, other three also. Okay. If you multiply this, this one two by three, this one three by two, the resultant should be two by two matrix. 
that means you should get only four elements in this matrix so if you multiply this row and this column yes one two minus two one yes right is it yes. clear one two minus one you multiply with one one two yes. this into this one one this into this two this into this sorry this into this minus one eh? minus two minus plus two minus two get cancelled one right like that then if you multiply this row with this column minus one four minus three right minus one four minus three zero correct sir yes then uh, you multiply this row and this column zero two two four okay then you multiply this row this row and this column zero four three seven Correct or wrong? Yes, sir. So, no, yeah. Then so can you try other uh, one? Third one also. Sir, this one. Yeah. This one will be three into three and three into three. Yes, three into three. So the. It should be three uh, by three matrix. Three by three. Yes. Three by three matrix. Okay, sir. I'm doing it. This is a, uh, so you can write like that. This is a plus this row and this column. Yes. Sir. Then here one one two and uh, zero one two. This one 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 two two zero one like that. Yes. This one, then take this row two minus one one. So mm. this minus two. Yes, I think minus two, no. Minus yes, two. Uh, let's see. This uh, minus two plus one minus one. Mm. Minus two plus one minus one. T. Ah, oh, not minus two. Sorry. Hmm. Here minus one. Minus uh, this multiply with this one. Minus two. Minus two. Here plus two, eh? Plus two. Right. Check whether you get this answer. One minus one three. So like that, you can expand, eh? If you. Yes, If you find it difficult, you can uh, set like this. Hmm? Yes. Check these numbers are correct. Hmm? Yes, sir. I'm doing it again. There, there might be my mistakes also. Eh? Check. Okay, sir. This one uh, somewhat difficult. Eh? Always you select row from this matrix. Column from this matrix. When you multiply these two matrices, 
how do you identify columns and matrices in this one? Separate. Uh, now this one three, three by one matrix, one by three matrix. Therefore, resultant should be three by three matrix. So yeah, always yeah. you take select column like this, horizontal lines, no? Yes. You see? From this one you select columns. Like this. No? Yes. Now you take column, the, this is a row, from this one you select rows, from this one you select columns. Okay. Now multiply this row with this column. You see? Like that, how many intersections are there? Nine intersections. Yes, sir. Right. Here, one into one, one. One into zero. One into zero. No, one into minus one, minus one. One into Two. Two. Then two into one. Two. Two into minus one. Minus two. Two into two. Four. Minus one into plus one. Minus one. Minus one into minus one. Plus one. Minus one into two. Minus two like that. Is it clear? Um, this is the last one is not clear. I was still confused. Can you show me the step of this line, sir? Okay. Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay. This is not clear, sir. Did you understand? No, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Always you select Good. row from this matrix yes, sir. and column from this matrix. Here you have three rows, here you have three columns. Yes, this sir. row with this column, you multiply this row with this column. One into one, one. One into minus one, minus one. One into two, two. Like this. Then you take second column, second row, sorry, second row, and multiply with these three columns. Two into one, two. Two into minus one, minus two. Two into two, four. Minus one into, minus one into, you know, then you take this row and these three columns. Minus one into one, minus one. Minus one into minus one, plus one. Minus one into two, minus two. Yes. Okay? Yes. Right. The, the matrix A can be written as like this. Hmm? Uh, suppose the uh, order of this matrix is N by P matrix. If it is N by P matrix, it can be written as A11, A12, A13, then uh, this is going on like this. Uh, with, uh, put the dotted lines, the missing terms, uh, dented by these dotted lines, and A1P. Then uh, A2P. Uh, likewise, this is going down also. Last element is, what is the last element? in this column. Can you tell me what is the last one? A to P. N N one. N N one. The order is N N by P. This one A N one. Next one A N two. A N T. Like that. Last one A N P. A and P. Is it clear? 
Yes, sir. Then if you take B as B I J is uh, P cross M, P by M. Hmm? That one you can write. This in uh, how do you denote this matrix in short form, hmm? short notation. Hmm? Then B is like this. B equals B one one, B one two, B one three. Then put a dotted, uh, put the line of dots. And last element B. Mm, this has. Uh, can you tell me number of columns and number of rows in this matrix? Number of rows and number of columns. Yes, sir. P is number of rows and M is number of columns. So oh, number of columns is M. Then here should be yes, one M, no? Yes, sir. One M. If number of yes, sir. number of columns is simple M, then it will be one M. Yes, okay. Sir. Yes. Then second one B two one, B two two, B two three. Last one B two M. Is it clear? Now put the line of dots like this. Last element B P P one B P two B P three B PM. PM. Like that. So this matrix is in short form. You can read it by like this. This one in short form like this. P cross M. Right? Yes. Yes. What is uh, if um, these two matrices are multipliable? No. Two multipliable matrices, right? Because very easily multipliable. Then C, if if C equals A B, what is the order of uh, C? What is the order of C I J? These two matrices are multipliable, no? If C equals C I J, what is uh, what is the order order of C? So C will be. C C will be a horizontal. C, from just looking at these two, you can get the order of C. You cancel P and P. What is remaining? M. N cross M. Order of matrices N cross M. Right. And C I J is defined as C A. Define as sigma i equals so k equals one to p k equals one to p a i i k into b k j. That is how you define C I J. Okay, K equals one to P. Now, how do you expand this? 
instead of k you put if, if you put k equals 1 a i1 b 1j plus a i2 b 2j plus a i3 b 3j like that you know how to expand this no like this then what is the last element a i p plus b p j like this okay sir i don't understand the sigma ah yeah, you don't understand sigma no sigma yes, so i have to uh, uh, teach you in the, uh, separately sigma notation so you do you, you don't uh, look at this hmm? yes, uh, you just look at this one hmm? okay sir cij is defined like this that is the resultant uh, ij element of the resultant matrix c is given by this one right yes sir i1 b1 j c2 for example suppose you want to write uh, c uh, suppose you want to write c12 how do you write c12 c12 is sigma k equals 1 to p a 1 k b k 2 if you expand this one a 1 1 b 1 2 plus a 1 2 b 2 1 2 1 a 1 3 b 3 2 plus 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 a 1 p b p 2 right always here you, you just you, you look at this 1 uh, 2 here 1 2 no 1 2 yes sir yes sir 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 always uh, this uh, corner numbers are same 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 if this one 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 corner numbers are uh, same but middle number is variable here 1 1 2 2 3 3 final one pp that means value of k ch changes from 1 to p then value of uh, k change uh, k changes from 1 to p that's running index running index change from 1 to p then you get the sum total sum yes, right okay yes. is it clear by uh, notation is somewhat uh, somewhat difficult eh uh, yes, don't worry about uh, when you work out problems uh, you can manage somehow eh Mm. Tomorrow at what time can you teach, sir? Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow also you want to do a class, no? Yes, sir. Because uh, I want to. Uh, okay. Because now I, I I'm so tired, sir. Tired, no? Right, right. Okay. Shall yes. we stop now? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we will continue with this one. Yeah, we will continue. Tomorrow I will tell you a time, eh? Okay, sir. Right. Okay.